So, Betty, how many men or women do you have to have sex with to be a feminist? I don't think there's a number. Could it be zero? Yes. It could? Yes. But I thought you said that everyone has to have sex with at least ten oh, people. You're just... going to pass a law that anyone getting married has oh, to have no. sex with. Oh, no. You want to have, if, yeah, from my point of view, after 40 years of being a sexologist, of teaching millions of women, you know, how to have in pleasurable sex and orgasm, is that before you pick someone, you should have some experience behind you. Now, well, that's how I feel personally, and that's, I think, that why we're modeling that behavior. Okay, now I have, and with that, the caveat comes. My mother only had sex with my father, and she married him, and they were married for 50 years, and come hell or high water, she was going to stick by his side. I mean, it's admirable. Well, because they were the perfect fit, though. She was what, if they, what if it wasn't the perfect fit? Well, That's what she, I can <laughs> tell you. I married someone who wasn't the perfect fit. And when the sex isn't there, and it's it's hard. It's devastating. It is. So the no, I'm not making rules. If we got it, we got an objection to the fact that I was pass. I would pass a law. That that darling is a figure of speech. Like I doubt if I'm going to ever get to be the president and pass that law. <laughs> no way. But trust me. If I get to be president, I will pass that law for your own good, whether you like there are it or guidelines. not. There guidelines. Their guidelines for your own good, and the culture encourages women to only have sex with their husbands, one person, Prince Charming. So we kind of feel like we should just represent for the sluts. Your sex history, the number of people you've had sex with, is not relevant to me. It's relevant to you. I mean, we're very open-minded. The point being that if you want to secure a good partner. And have a successful relationship. Experience is, we do, you know, experience is the best teacher. Now, you can go on blind luck. You know how many marriages are arranged, marriages, and the woman... And it and can the, work out sometimes. Yes, and some, they've never yeah. had sex with anybody else. So if they were both virgins... Then it would work. You're right. The system's flawed because the men aren't virgins, just the women are. We encourage men to have experience. And how many women will say... Oh well, I want my I want my boyfriend to be experienced, or oh, because if he's a virgin at a certain age, you think he's gay, right? Uh, or you think something's wrong with him? Something's it wrong. Work. Something's wrong. That you you don't you don't need to jump to gay, but it, definitely something's wrong. Something's up or not up. <laughs> yeah, something's not up. <laughs> Our definition of a sexual feminist is a woman who gets to make up her own mind, but it must come from choice. Exactly. And not because you're fearful that you're going to get STDs. Or that you're, you've been you know, raised a Catholic and you have to be a virgin. Or that, you know, God wants you to be clean and You're holy. wearing an abstinence ring and you went to one of those, the virginity balls. No, please, please. You we know. love you. We love you. But you're, you're operating in really the dark, the dark ages. It's, we don't do that anymore. The key in sex is always about choice. We all have a choice to choose. Choose. You can choose. Choo, choo, choo. I choose to be an old slut. I choose to be a young slut. And my pussy is mine, and I will use it as I see fit. Yes, we own our own genitals, mm -hmm. absolutely. I like mine. I love mine. Mine's the best. <laughs> Cut! <laughs>